the clock is ticking. Just a few more days left to take steps to rev up your income tax refund. And to on your sides, Christine Lazar has five tips that you can't afford to ignore. Tis the season to be merry, but it's also the best time to focus on your taxes. Most planning should take place prior to the end of the year. The moves you make now can mean more money in your pocket when you get your tax refund. If you have a 401k plan, you want to try to put the maximum amount. That means catching up on contributions to your employer's retirement plan. The maximum contribution is $18,000 or $24,000 if you're 50 or older. You must catch up by December 31st. You're trying to make your taxable income less. And if you're getting a year-end bonus, consider postponing it until after the new year so you don't have to add it to your 2017 income. Another last-minute move, pay January's mortgage in December. You get to write off 13 months of interest instead of 12. Never thought of it that way. You gave me a point. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a three-paycheck month. And if you can afford it, pay some or all of your 2018 property taxes now. You have a larger deduction by making that extra payment earlier. Charitable contributions are one of the easiest last-minute moves. I donate to the American Diabetes Association because my husband had diabetes. I think a lot of women's organizations is primarily where I'm focused. From cash to clothing, it all adds up. And keep in mind, it's not only what you donate, but how you get there that counts. If you drove out there and you delivered them yourself, the mileage for taking them out there is a deduction. Every break you take in 2017 matters because changes in the tax code are coming soon. Christine Lazar, CBS2 News. Well, can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter, use the hashtag Two on Your Side and we'll see what we can do to help you solve it.